Hi, welcome to the BadCenter.com. We are in day 11 yeah, of our preparation for the IGCSE AdMats exam. Okay, at 0606. Yeah, uh, day 11 of the 18 day review. Yeah, before we talk about the question and everything else, uh, please forgive me. My dog is in the room with me and he tends to snore when he's asleep. So if you hear the sounds of, uh, you know, of uh, some snore, it's actually my dog, okay? Thank you for bearing with me, yeah? And I don't have the heart to, you know, he's my, my dog and he's going to be with me whenever I do all these things, okay? Thank you for your understanding. Okay, uh, we're going to be dealing with progressions today. And um, please give this video a like and share as much as you can. Follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Please visit the uh, MathCenter.com for details on the courses that we offer, okay? So, progressions. Uh, we are not going to do, work out the full solution. Eh? I'm going to give you the solution as an attachment to this video so you have it with you. But I want to talk about the general ideas, what to do and how to deal with them, yeah? So, in part A of the question, we have an arithmetic progression, uh, 20 terms, okay? Let's write it here. Arithmetic progression, 20 terms, so n equals to 20. The eighth term is 25, yeah? The eighth term is 25. Therefore, A plus 7D is 25. So I have equation number one, okay? We are using the formula Tn is A plus N minus 1D. So A plus 7D is 25. And then they tell me the sum of the last eight terms. Be careful about this, yeah? The sum of the last eight terms. You have got 20 terms. The last eight will be... Uh, uh, T13 plus T14 plus, let me just write it, okay, so, to show you something, T17 plus T18 plus T19 plus T20. Have I counted? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They are fine, okay? The sum of these terms equals to 404, okay? So, let's write another equation and then you can solve the equation on your own and sort out the problem. So I, I start with A plus 12D plus A plus 13D and all the way up to, okay, A plus, what is T20? 19D and that's equals to 404. So there are eight terms here, so there'll be eight A's, okay, eight A. I have 12 plus 13, if you don't know any of these complicated formulas, don't have to worry about it. Just use a calculator and just plug in 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus, but uh, in my case, I know most of the formulas around in advanced and other levels of maths. So I have 12 here, first term, I have 19 here. So I can add them up, 31, I get 31, and divided by 2, the 8 of those, 31 times 4, I'll have 124D equals to 404. Those of you who know what I just rambled on, I'm using the formula N over 2, A plus L. Remember this formula? That's the formula I used. Okay, use a calculator. Now I have equation 1. And equation two, okay, solve it and get A and D. I'm not going to do it. You do it yourself, okay? And what's the question? Find the sum of the first eight terms. They want you to find S8. You can use the formula N over 2, 2A plus N minus 1D. Uh, you know N, you know N is 20, you know, uh, excuse me, S8. So N is 8. So let me write it here. This will be 4 plus uh, 2A plus. 7d. I'll repeat. They ask you to find S8. We're using the n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. Uh, just remember here n is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then uh, 8 minus 1 is 7. But the a and d would have gotten from here. Plug in together. Easy. Okay. Okay. Let me just say a few words about uh, uh, what's the word for it? For GP part B. I'll set it up for you and then you can look at the solution, yeah? Geometric progression, the first term exceeds the second by 2, yeah? Uh, first term exceeds the second term by 2, okay? A minus AR equals to 2. The sum of the second and the third terms, AR plus AR squared equals to 4 over 3, okay? Sum of the second and third terms. So, you have two equations you can easily solve, yeah? Uh, all you need to do is just take equation number 1, you'll get 1 minus r equals to 2, then you know a is 2 over 1 minus r, 
you plug it inside here, you can get A and R. Not hard. So you do it yourself. They ask you to find the possible values of A and R. So you'll have two values of A and two values of R. Okay? Finish. They ask you to find S infinity if all the terms of the GP are positive. So which means from here, right, you have two values of R, two values. Okay? You choose the value of R that's between 1 and minus 1. Choose the value of R because only if your, if your value of R is between 1 and minus 1, you're going to get S infinity, which is A over 1 minus R. So with that value of R, find the value of A, plug in, and you are done. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please give this video a like and share as much as you can. Follow me on Facebook and YouTube. And I will see you again tomorrow, day 12. Thank you.